This is another section just a little ways around the lake from where the first one was, where the first perch was that I just showed you. And this is a little bit further. This is a whole scene, okay? This, look at this, okay? Something hit the rock here when it came up out of the water. This is the water line here. Something hit the water, triangular, some, or something hit the rocks, rather, creating this triangular gouge. Then another one here, and another one here, and something here, and something dragged up in this direction. Look, you can see something, almost like a tail, maybe, dragging up in this direction. And then something else hit here, so you can look. You can see one, two, three, four, five, at least, going up here. Now look at this. There's that triangle again on this side, but I want you to look at this area right here, okay? Now, remember I showed you and I said pay attention to the claw print at the campsite and the impression that was a foot away from it and the claw print in the sand and the impression that was a foot away from it, a thud in the sand and a thud in the rock a certain distance away from the print, the footprint, the claw print. This is a footprint, a claw print, and then this is a thud. Exactly the same as the one on the sand in the, at the beach. Exactly the same as the one at the campsite. The same distance, relatively so, from the footprint. Now look at this print. We're going to see this in a little bit, but look at this. We've got one point, two points, three. Okay, so one, two, three, and then a couple of one, two, maybe three, and a few more here, perhaps. But certainly, this one, this one, one, two, three, and this indentation, this area here, is an indentation. You can see how it's been pressed down, sloped down, pressed down by something. One, two, three. Claws, claws, claws. So maybe it pressed down here, clawed its way up towards here. But there's an impression of a print and a thump. We're scaling this up now, folks. Giant print and a thump with a jaggedy, jagged, jagged impression. Remember that impression at the campsite on the rock where I put my arm in it? Similar to that, very similar in size. Then there's a print, then there's a thud, okay? And a bunch of sort of walking up as if something hit something, hit, 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 all the way up. And then this impression here is, an, is a footprint, claw print, whatever. But look at it. You know how it's pressed in. I need you to look at this and see how it's pressed in with one, two, three. And then an impression, impression, impression here, maybe here as well. But going around, radiating like a foot, okay? And then a thud here. And then something Look, with one, two, three, something has a sort of a pattern in its belly or something maybe and dragged its way right up to the top of this hill here, sat right up here. But that's a whole scene. We're going to see this in a bit. And this is from a different angle higher up. But you can see something hit here, making a, making a triangular impression. There's a footprint. There's a thud. Okay, pay attention to this in particular. And then boom, 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 pulled its way up with something, maybe a wing here, and maybe this is a wing that it hammered down. Um, and then this along here is a triangular pattern here too. So something, here's one side, here's the other side, here's the foot in the middle maybe, who knows. But look at this, okay? Jagged, 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 made an impression. There's the jagged, jagged, jagged. Are you seeing this triangular? I want to make sure you see this. 
triangular jagged pattern here. Jaggedy, jaggedy, jaggedy. Remember the jaggedy pattern in the uh, rock at the campsite of the wing impression? Okay, but pay attention to this jagged pattern. Okay. And then the foot imprint with, for lack of a better term, toes and a thud imprint just like the other two. 2016 in sand next to the footprint. 2022 in stone next to the claw print. And then a jaggedy something. But the point is, this is jagged. This is rock does not erode like this jaggedy. Okay. Pay attention to that. I'm getting a close up of it now. Look at that. Pyramid, pyramids, pyramids, points, points, points. Jagged, 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 jagged. Okay. So something went boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Claw, 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 claw. Look at that giant claw taking out these big, big chunks of rock. It's a big claw print, folks. Jagged patterns. Jagged, okay? Pay attention to that. An impression with a radiating pattern of toes, maybe, if it's toes or claws. And then a thud. See, that's the same shape. Bigger on one end, smaller on the other. About a foot long on the, on the beach. About the same size on the stone at the campsite. And now look, this one is sized up. This one's about a foot and a half to two feet wide. Again, destroyed rock while this thing clawed its way up. You can see one, two, three. You can see the claws in the stone. All this destruction to the rock. Look at all of this. Claw marks, claw marks, claw marks, destruction, claw marks. If you sit and look at it, you can see them. Jaggedy patterns. I really want you to look at that and put that in your brain. Because it's going to start getting a whole lot weirder. And a whole lot more unbelievable. So jagged patterns in rocks, scratch marks, claw marks, points where the claws have gone into the rock. This rock is all destroyed because of claws. Claw prints coming up through it. It's not just eroding. Look, that's a claw print. Claw print. Claw print. All of these points, points, points. Look, you can see them all. Look at them all. Its claws went into the rock. Right from the water all the way up. You can see the direction it goes. Get any tracker who's... You get a tracker who's four years old and they'll show you they'll track these prints look at this these are claw marks into the side of the rock claw marks holes from claws and you're like how come you only see one because the other one's 15 feet away look cut right into the rock Look at them. Look how big they are. This is like two feet across. But wait, there's more. You know, see, look. Freshly, this whole thing is freshly taken off. All these claw prints here dragged it right across here. And it may have been more than once. This might be one. This might be another one from another time. Who knows? Look at that. See that little shape there that cut it out just like the one at the campsite that I showed you. Big claw marks. Big claw marks. Going up the side of the rock where it sits and perches. All these scratches. Look at all these scratches. Those aren't natural. Coming from the water up onto the shore. Look, you can see this one here, triangular. If you look closely, triangular, scratch, scratch, right there, 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 all up the rock. There, there, 
scratch, 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 dig out of the rock, dig, dig. This one's going in that direction. So multiple times this has come out of the water here. Rock taken off there. Triangular patterns, rock taken off in chunks. Again, claw marks have taken this. This is a giant claw. Taking this here too. See? One, two, three, four. This one drags right down there. And then took all this whole section off down here. Look. Up out of the water. This is another part. And it's not very far away from where I first started. Again, one, two, three. Look at all these claw marks through the rock. Big chunks taken out up here as it goes up. Going up the rock. Making big holes. Look at this. Cut right into the rock. Big chunks taken out. Chunks, chunks, chunks. Gouges, marks, claw marks. Chunks taken out. Look. Point, point, point. This took this section right here and then went straight down. Look. Claw marks in the rock. Claw, claw, claw. Mm, this whole thing. This whole thing destroyed because of this creature here. Look. This section was taken out. So remember I showed you that big chevron. This was in the rock at the lake. It's an exact match, folks. It's an exact match. Something pressed down just like it did at the campsite and left this same impression. Same exact impression. And you can see where the rock's been kind of destroyed off here, chipped off here. Chip, 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 chip. This is something's pulled it this way and pulled this whole section of rock out. But look at this. This is a 90 degree chevron indented into the rock. Same angle, pressed down four inches at the deepest point. Exactly the same. This is in Powell River. The other one was in Squamish, British Columbia. Okay, so now we've got a beach in South Richmond at Gary Point Park that has three now. Remember the one in the grass that I just showed you? I'll show you the photos coming up of that one. But I wanted to kind of draw a, a, a connection between the round circle on the, on the uh, beach and then the hole in the seal and the, the, the uh, imprints in the rock of this, what I think is some sort of a feeding tube with teeth, a mouth. So this is the indentation that matches the one that's at the campsite, 90 degrees, same size, same impression, depth into the ground, into the rock, whatever, um, it matches. These all match. They all match. There's the giant poop. And lots of scratches going up those rocks. If you want to take these and slow them down, look, there's one there. And look at it as a game. Find all the scratches in the rock. This chunk was taken out. This was taken out. This little chunk here. All these scratches along here. This was scratch, scratch, scratch. And it had a big poop there and there. That's a massive amount of poop. A bird is only about the size of this rock, a regular bird. This thing, gallons of poo. The rock's destroyed here, too. Here, it came up and just pulled this whole section of rock down. This was taken down by it when it came up to have a poop. All this destroyed up here, too. This here, too. I mean, you can sit here for an hour and look at all the destruction. Over here, too. So, there it is. That matches that. End of story. End of story. So there it is. 
uh, imprint with a thump, an imprint with a thump, just that this one is bigger than this one. Okay? We're starting to see different sizes of these now. Bigger, bigger than this one. Look at this. It's only about a foot long. This one's about two feet long. But remember this impression and this shape. Emblazon this in your mind. Okay? And look at what something dragged up here. It has sort of a belly, maybe a tail or something like that. Who knows? These are matching, okay? They're matching up. Uh, let's see. Where are we? So, now we're going to look at the photos. I'll go through these quicker because you can stop them yourselves. Now look, I mean, right off the bat, right up the center, two giant gouges out of these rocks. I mean, when this video starts, you're probably saying, I can't see it, I can't see it. But by the time you're done with this and what I've shown you, all these little digs, all these little scratches, triangular marks and everything, you're going to become experts at this. So I'll just go through these one after the other and you can see and you can stop them and look at your look at them yourself. The valleys, the triangular shapes, the digs out of the rock, the chunks of rock taken out, the gouges with claw marks, they're all visible here. They're all look at all of this rock that's been destroyed. It's all fresh. Fresh. This is not millions of years ago. And anyone who tries to tell you that is lying to you. All of this rock, all of this that's come off, the fresh rock you can see digs and scratches there here this has been taken off this is the very first little section this is the second time I went back the first time I went back and took the cell phone photos you just saw this is with my p900 now this is associated with the videos I took of the lake and these are just photos I took good quality photos I don't know man there's a chain around the other side of it uh, around the bend from here there's another one of these pounded in where there's more claw marks. What are these? They're not for boats. I think these were held captive. These creatures were held captive at one time. And this is the remnants of it. They may have escaped. They may have been released. Who knows? This is proof positive. This is physical evidence right here next to claw marks on this bluff where this thing sits. What other conclusion can you come to? You can pause it and see where all of the rock is destroyed around here. This is the bluff it comes up and sits on. One of them. Right up on top. Claws its way right up onto the top. Look at that triangular pattern. Triangular, pyramidal, whatever you want to call it. But keep that in your mind. It's coming. Look again. A triangular shape. You look straight down on that and it'll look like a triangle. All these gouges, giant gouges out of the rock, chunks of rock. That's a claw mark coming right through there. That is a claw mark. That is a claw mark coming right through there. That is a claw mark. There too. All of these parts on the rock where it's been destroyed, chunks have been taken out, gouges, and up here, this whole section was taken out. This was taken out. Look, you can see underneath. It's black. It's a different color. Not prehistoric. They didn't weather at the same rate. This whole section. Chunks, 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 chunks. All of this. Triangular chunks. All these chunks were taken out by something that came up out of the water and sat right up here. That's why it's so smooth. Look how smooth it is. This whole section from here all the way over has nicks and chunks. Look at that. Triangular, triangular. This has climbed right up out of the water. Look here, 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 all the way along here. It's used its claws to climb up out of the water. Again, here, here, all this. You can stop all of these and look at them closely yourselves and see everywhere where this rock is missing, it's been taken out. 
because it's fresh. Most of it is fresh. It's different color underneath. It's a different color. And look, right from here, right from here, right from here, taken out this whole section of rock. That whole piece of rock was taken out. This has all been destroyed. This is fresh, folks. This is not prehistoric. Look, this claw went in there and it dug that whole section. Look at all of these sections. All of these little marks here and all of these little chunks, everything. Triangle, 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 big chunk, triangle, triangle. Look, there it is. There's its footprint right there. Gouged out of the rock. It climbed this way along the rock up onto this area here. That. Do I have to tell you now? Do I have to point it out? All of these, this, all of this section. Look, even here, even here, here over top of it. I'm going up, up to the nice comfortable spot. All of this rock was destroyed by the creature, by the beast. And you see how many times people use those, those terminology, the language, that lingo, beast, the beast. You know, how many people know about this and are covering it up? How many people are hiding this from you? Look at this. It came up and it went around this rock or went over this rock or something. Triangles, triangles, triangles. Look at all these, all this chunks of rock taken out. This chunk of rock taken out was done by a claw. And I'm going around this rock. You can see chunks, chunks, chunks taken out. It's climbed over this rock. Look, big claw mark coming right down there. It took a big chunk out. Another one along here. See that? Maybe even here too. All the way down the rock. Taking chunks out as it went. Look, mark, mark. So it... Yeah. You can't see that by now. Look, all along here, all along here. This whole thing was taken out. <laughs> the whole section of rock was taken out. Like here, like here, like here. These are all marks of this thing going up here. That's why it's so smooth. I'm sure of it. Look, this has all been taken out. Big chunks taken out. Big chunks, big chunks, big chunks. Big claw mark right down the side of that rock. Big claw mark. So it came up here, right up here. It came right through here. Might have gone right up there. Because you can see that there's destruction on the rock in a direction. Look, all of this, it came right up here and over that. All this destruction on this rock was it pulling itself, pulling itself using the rock. The claw mark took that whole thing right out. Claw marks, claw marks. Chunks, chunks, pointed chunks. Came up here. It might be sitting right here. Look at this. This whole section right here. Not the same color as that. Not the same color. It came up right up here. You can see it kind of destroyed the rock around this area here. Right here. Probably sat right here. It likes to make a little nest. Mm, likes to make itself a little nest. Coming up out of the water and just sitting there. This whole area might, might have sat right up in this little area back here. But you can see all this destruction of the rock back here too. All the way going up 
Up, 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 up. Look, this pointing the direction. Pointing the direction it's going. Up the side. To where the kids perch and put graffiti and stuff. Any of those gone missing without a trace? So all of this, destruction of the rock, destruction of the rock, same thing, a few things, but yeah, going up the rock, up the rock, up the rock. This, this whole section taken out, fresh, not millions of years, fresh. Look at the difference in the color between this, lighter color, darker color, lighter because it's fresh, not millions of years, not millions of years. And look, right here, it took this whole chunk probably starting from right here and going this way. All of these, all of this. All of this. All caused by the creature, the beast. This, see? Claw, claw, dragging down, taking a chunk out of the rock. Yeah, little nicks, little, little nicks out of it there. This whole place, it went right straight down, took that chunk, and then continued by taking this chunk down here, too. There you go. There you go. Plain as day. Starts up here, goes right to the very bottom. This is probably four feet high. There, 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 there. This big chunk. Look, shh, shh. Came out, took that whole section out. Big triangle. That's probably two feet wide. All of this destruction to the rock. All of it. It's coming up the rocks, coming up out of the water. That triangular shape, very distinctive triangular shape. All these gouge marks. Points, points, pointing us in the direction it's going. Fresh rock underneath. Fresh. Big chunk of rock taken off. Started right about there. Pow! Took that chunk right off. Coming up out of the water. All this here. We grabbed up here and took this chunk of rock too. This here, this here, all of this. It's coming up out of the water here. Here, look, drag mark right down, took out this little section. The points again. Drag, 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 drag. All these little drag marks, nick marks. Nicks, drags, all this. Look, that point. Coming up out of the water. There it is. With the claw marks, you can see one, two, three, four. Up out of the water. Claw marks. So that is still that same bluff, but further along around the corner. There's a rock. That big rock is over here. The one section. That's only a hundred feet, maybe. So many rocks destroyed. Look, so many chunks out of the rock. The V's, the valleys you can see here, it's claws taking chunks out. This whole thing was taken out by the claws. What was that? Here too. Jagged, jagged. All taken off. So that those are all the photos taken from my P900, and that's only 100 feet around the lake. Okay. So now, I, man, I gotta say, <sighs> so here's what I haven't shown you yet. I came across a cave, yeah, a cave, um, anyway, I'll show you.
This is further around. I didn't make it to this on my second time there with the P900 because I only went about 100 feet and got so much stuff that I didn't go back to this yet. So this cave was created by this creature. And you can see all the way around this cave, everywhere around this cave, are claw marks coming up out of the water and going into it. Look, you can see how flat the stone is from where it... Uh, just comes in and out, in and out, in and out, smoothing the stone down. And this is the normal water level. So it doesn't have to climb at all normally. All it does is swim right straight into its lair. Oh, I didn't tell you that. This is where it lives. At least one of its homes. Remember the chains I was telling you about? Here's another one. Don't ask me what they're just sitting there for. Don't ask me what these these pegs are in the ground. These giant pegs next to claw marks coming out of the water and a perch where something comes up out of it. This is looking like some kind of... I don't know what. I mean, anyway. Moving on. Here's the cave. There's claw marks digging it out. It dug this cave out for itself. Okay? When you look really closely, you can see where it's been dug out. You can see, look how flat it is. This thing comes up, swims up into this, and then it does its thing. There's a point here where it's dragged out this whole wall here. There's a, there's just, this is something created by this creature. Okay? Now, if you haven't noticed it already, we're getting close to something that's going to terrify you, if this hasn't already. The entrance to this cave is covered in blood. And don't try and tell me this is some sort of a discoloration in the rock, because you wait and see. Covered in blood, this is. Look at all this rock been destroyed by this thing coming up here. This point, it's dragged this section out to make itself a little home. This is right around the corner from the public beach. Okay, look at this. Blood, in my opinion. You know why I think it's blood? Okay. When you start to zoom in, to the bloody area. This area here. And look up. What's here? One bloody print. Two bloody prints. Three bloody print. Four bloody print. And a triangular chunk taken out of the rock with the third finger over. Remember I was telling you about the third finger, the ring finger? Okay. Bloody print in the rock above this. This is blood, folks. It's blood. And a bloody print above it. Look at these prints in the rock. Drag marks, drag marks. This thing has made its home and is bringing its victims back to eat them. Look, you can see it's broken the rock. The ja jaggedy drag marks right here as it's dragged its way out. This thing has made this home. Look at how flat this rock is. It's used it in, out, in, out. Look, and flattened the rock and all the blood. I don't know what's inside of it. I haven't been there yet, but. And look, a big chunk, this chunk taken out of there with the ring finger one. Okay, you can see all of this blood. Do you know anyone who's gone missing without a trace lately? So this is all the, the, the marks around this particular cave showing that it's just like 
this whole section has just all been dug out. It made its home. I don't know if the residents of this area know about this cave, but look, all of these jagged, this is all it creating this, widening the opening. Look, this is fresh, fresh, okay? New rock exposed. But you, you can even see the claw marks in it. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six. Maybe it's a six-fingered creature. Who knows? But look, it's taking a... It, oh, God. And then here, chunk, chunks, chunks, chunks. This has all been removed by the creature. And look, claw, 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 claw. All this up here, too. All of it. Look, claw mark, claw mark. Took a chunk out of it. Took a chunk out there, right there. Claw, 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 claw. All this has been dug out. All of it has been dug out. This is all around the mouth of this cave. Look, this has been taken out. All of this has been taken out. This is the entrance to the cave. It's clawed its way up here. Look, directional. It's come up into this cave. Up out of the water. Look, claw marks right in the stone. Coming up out of the water. Destroying the rock face as it comes up. Destroying the rock face. Look, the claws are going right into the stone. Taking out chunks of stone. Look, dig right down, straight down, straight down. Coming up out of the water, there's some right at the water level, coming up right out of the water and into the cave. That's a lot of blood at the entrance to that cave. That's not a fish that it's consumed there. And look how high it is above the water level right now. The water level is normally up here. So it's had to climb up. Look, you can see claw marks all in the wall, right up into the hole. Who knows how deep that goes to. But you can see the blood right there. And it probably comes right out and goes right down here into the water. Destruction of the rock. Rock destruction right there. All destroyed. Coming up out of the water. You can see it here. Triangle, triangle. Coming up out of the water. Triangle, 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 triangle. All of this is it's clawing its way up. Up, look how high. That's like a 15 feet climb. I don't know if it's going there right now. There it is, right there. Okay? I'm going to zoom it in. There it is. Claw, 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 claw. Marks right in the wall. Triangular chunk taken out. It put its hand, claw, up on the wall while it was consuming its victim. And then dragged it down and took a chunk out of it, out of the wall, when it dragged its claws down the wall. You think that's going to last for millions of years? Those marks? No. Look at that. It's the last picture in this series. Now, oh boy, if that doesn't freak you out. No, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go back to that cave. I'm going to go back to that cave and see what's there. You folks want to see someone get eaten on camera? So back to the claw prints. So this is the one on Friday, three days ago. I went for a walk in the park. This is the same park where the headless seal was in the giant claw prints on the beach. The same place where that sea lion was with the big hole in its abdomen. 
created by what I think is some sort of a feeding tube with teeth, like a mouth. Okay? Now, this is the print it left. Look, you can see the claw marks in it. And you can see the center where there's nothing mashed down. That is fresh grass. So, it's a tube. Look, teeth, teeth, teeth marks in it. It's some kind of a tube, like Mr. Octopus or something, you know, with the Spider-Man series where he has a, a appendages that can grab things and whatever. This is what that does. These giant teeth. This area where this was found, there's no bears, there's no cougars, there are no predators. This is an island. This looks like a puma print or a giant uh, lion or something. So there's my foot, obviously, next to it, so you can see the size of it. The size, uh, those are size 11 boots. And it pushed the ground up. Okay, so this is, it's going in this direction. It's going from left to right. It swooped down, grabbed a goose, because all that was left of the goose were feathers. And when I came across it, I, I saw the feathers, and I thought, what is missing in this picture a corpse and blood just a bunch of feathers so i started looking around on the ground and this is what i found it swooped down grabbed the goose and then shot back up into the sky and this went down into the ground and helped to push it up into the sky because this pushed up the ground around two inches around it see so these are other marks that were nearby very strange markings. So this is the, look, it's pushed up. This is the ground here, and this is pushed up. You can see the claw marks in it. One, two, three. Look at these claw marks and the grass that wasn't even destroyed in the middle. This is like a hollow mouth with teeth, like a tube that it jams into its victims and sucks them out. Because remember when I said that the sea lion was on the beach, looked like it was a deflated balloon. This is what did it. It put a hole in the side of it and it sucked its insides out. Look, the center is not disturbed. This is a, a tube with teeth, a mouth. So where the claws are, you would think that that's the direction it's going. It's No, it's the opposite. These claws are on the back of it. It was going in the other direction. It used this to push itself up into the sky. Look at how deep that goes in there. And all this into the soil. Dig, dig, dig. These are teeth or claws or something like that in this trunk-like thing. You can't really see from the photos, but the ground is literally pushed up by two inches. It pushed down so hard, the force of it, just like on the beach. Remember on the beach where the sand was pushed up like that? The same deal, but with earth this time. Solid ground. There's the hole. It's just pushed up. So, here's the area. There's a feather, but I'll show you. There's another one, just some feathers. You can't hardly see it. But I started looking around with fresh eyes, and there's digs like like claw marks dug right straight into the ground. This goes two inches deep into the ground. It's a claw that dug by itself. Look, just a hole in the ground. A hole in the ground. And look at all these feathers. This is what I saw. Just a bunch of feathers everywhere. And then I started looking around and I saw that big mark in the sand or in the ground. This is solid ground during like it's one degree. The ground is solid, yet this thing pushed the ground up two inches around it by shoving something down into it. Now look at these drag marks in the ground. They're leading towards two claw marks that you'll see. This thing swooped down, grabbed a goose, and shot back up into the sky. There's no other prints. There they are. There's, look how long these drag marks are. Okay, and they're leading to these two claw prints. Drag mark took up all the soil. 
Look. One, two. There's my foot. So they're probably size four, 14 inches in length, I would say. 14 inches in length. The claws are probably, uh, you know, three inches long, but the drag mark that they leave in the ground, these are, these match the ones in the stone. The two that, that pulled the stone right off, pulled the rock right off. These are the same claws that, that made that. Big claw marks. This is coming towards me. You can see it's, it's smaller here and bigger on the end. So it started here and, and extended that way as it took this goose and went straight up into the sky. Look. Big claw, big, a big trunk. Some sort of an appendage, a proboscis or something like that. That's a feeding tube that it uses to move around. Obviously, it's used this to lift itself into the air. It hit the ground so hard, it pushed it up, pushed the earth up around it. This matches, this hole, circular hole, matches the one in the sea lion that I just found. Like, literally, this was only a, a month or two ago that I found that sea lion on the beach. So everything's happening at once. I found the headless seal in 2016, and then it wasn't until the campsite that my eyes were opened, and I went, this is real. This is not dogs on the beach. And then all of a sudden, my eyes were open, and I can see it everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay? Everywhere. So then, here, let's go into a little bit of la-la land, because you're not going to believe this, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's go to this one, because this is our last one now. Oh, boy. So remember I said, check out the jaggedy edges and check out the impressions, the indentations, the prints, the claw prints, and everything else. Now, with everything you have seen, this is a mountain side. This is the side of a mountain. So not only do we have, look, jagged, 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 all the way along here. Not only do we have that, but look, claw prints dragging down the mountain side. Claw prints on this side. And what do we have over here? What? do we have this is a mountainside folks jagged jagged and something that hit here right here on the mountainside that i believe was a head that hit the mountain so hard that it damaged the mountain and had radiating cracks going in all directions and this, folks, this is it right here. This is Cinderella's slipper. This is it. If the shoe fits, wear it. Not only are these jaggedy patterns, these little jagged patterns matching up. But when you start to look closer at it, the drag marks, the impression, jaggedy impression along here, this indentation up here and this imprint you've seen it before folks you've seen it all before this is in Squamish this is heading towards the chief you know the chief the big mountain this is one of those you want to know how big this is what's that right there folks what's that right there That's a climber. That's a climber. And those are giant, 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 jaggedy edged claw marks coming down the mountainside. See? 
jagged, 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 the exact same. Remember I said that it doesn't erode this way? It doesn't erode this way. This whole section, you can see this whole section has been flattened. Flattened. Look, it's flattened. And then claw marks coming down the mountain. And this, from this angle, this, to me, looks like a head, folks. Cracks radiating and an indentation with wing marks and claw marks. This is a person in the claw mark, folks. Okay? Look at this with open eyes, folks. This whole section has been pressed into the rock. This whole section. This creature came down with such force that it hit the mountain and wrecked it. Look at this destruction, folks. And look at this. Remember on the beach at the lake when I showed you the claw print? One, two, three. With one, two. And look at the indentations here and the claw print here. That is a giant print with claw prints right here. And guess what's up here in one of its claw prints? That is a climber. You could zoom in on this. Look at the claw marks. Look at this destruction. Look at these points. And this, and this, and this indentation. Remember I said emblazon that in your mind. Look at that. It's a giant fucking claw print on the side of a mountain, folks. Look at that. Something hit there with such force. Claw, wing, head. Look at the jaggedy patterns. Look at it. That's a climber. That's a climber. That, something hit there. Something hit there. Look at the claw marks coming down. Look at that imprint right there. Look at that imprint. Now look at this. Okay. Imprint. Imprint. Imprint, indentation, indentation, indentation. The exact same. Look, pressed into the stone, coming out of Powell Lake. Pressed into the side of a fucking mountain. They're exactly the same, folks. And what they're not telling us, oh boy, look at this, man. Look at the scrape marks down this mountain. Look at the jagged. They match, folks. They match. This print matches. And look at the cracks in that. Something hit there. And if that's not a head, I don't know what it is. That's a claw print for sure. Look at that. And it matches. It matches this one. Little big. Fucking big. Folks. That's fresh rock. When did this fucking happen? That's fresh rock. When did this happen? Look at that hole. Something hit there. Something hit there. The cracks that it caused. Look at the indentation. Look at how it pressed the rock in and flattened it. And look at the jagged edges. And look at the claw prints and the claw prints.
Now, now, folks. Yesterday, I was at work, and I looked over to see the side of the lions. This is a famous mountain range out of Vancouver that everyone can see. And look what's in the side of it. Claw print, claw print, claw print, claw print. Right in the side of the fucking mountain, folks. <laughs> right in the side of the mountain. And remember I said to you, Pay attention to the third finger, the ring finger. Okay? One, two, three. The deepest cut, right from the very top of the fucking mountain, all the way down. And look what's at the bottom. Triangle. A pyramidal shape. Its claw took that right out, folks. Okay, remember I said the third finger over? Well, here it is again. You can see all the way down the mountain. And that triangle right down there. That one. And guess what else we're going to see now? The very first one I showed you. The very first. I could probably superimpose the bottom photo over the top photo. But the third one over is the deepest. Third one over is the deepest. A tiny one on the side of a rock face coming out of a lake. And when I said this was a giant print, there you go, folks. That's a giant print. So I'm going to be going back to the cave. And I haven't decided how. And I haven't decided who I'm going to tell because obviously the cops are in on this. And obviously the ed educational system is in on this. Who do you tell? Anyhow, there you have it, folks. I'll throw this one in as well because, well, it could or could not be, might or not, might not be a real dragon, but I videotaped this like last year. How big do you think that is way up there? Like I said, do you know anyone who's gone missing without a trace? I don't know what kind of plane that is. I don't know. It's flashing. But not flashing like, you know, like regular Transport Canada flashing lights. So, I don't know. It looks like it has wings to me. And with everything you've just seen, what do you think? Anyway, folks, like I said, I'll be going back to the cave at some point. 
and I haven't decided how I'm going to do it, whether I'm going to live stream it and put it behind a paywall so that I can have some money for when I get eaten on camera, my family will be taken care of. But who do you tell this to? Who do you tell these kinds of things to? Especially after all the evidence you've seen. So the last couple of years we've all been locked down. What do you think we've been locked down for? Is it for COVID? Anyhow, this may or may not be a giant creature. I don't know how it might not be, but there's going to be skeptics. So, anyway, that's the end. I don't know what else to say. This is it, folks. This may be my last video. This may be the last of everything, but I'm going to keep exposing this. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep showing you what I can. Hopefully this is recorded in its entirety so I can show this to you to the world. Thank you to everyone for supporting this page. Anyway, take care, everyone. And for God's sake, look up. <laughs>